Your baiting procedure with, with hounds is completely different to with blinds. Um, you know, blind, you want to put your bait somewhere where it's very uh, away from traffic and where, you know, a leopard's going to feel, feel very secure and, and very safe when he approaches your bait. With your hounds, you're going to do it differently because you, you're very limited on the time frame that you have to check your bait. You're, you know, as soon as it's hot by 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, pretty much the hunt's over. So you've got to start checking your baits at 3, uh, sometimes 2.30 in the morning. Um, so your bait wants, you want the bait to be very close to a road so you can check it in the dark and move to the next bait because time's running short. And uh, it's not that important to get him to feed every night, it's just you want to get that track and get it when it's nice and fresh. Um, but very, very often, and I'm going to say probably 50% of the times, you'll, you'll cut a track on the road driving from one bait to another, not even remotely close to a bait, and that's all you're looking for is just a fresh scent. You've got to stick with the basics, and the basics is put the baits out there, get the scent out there, and let the cat realize that something's up in his territory and there's a, there's a free meal somewhere.